literally redoing some substrates with some um, tarantulas so I'm literally going to show like a 10 second clip of each of them um, just to show them off a bit it's only going to be a short thing um, so this is my Lassiodora Kluge and that's all I'm going to say um, she's absolutely massive um, she's just in pre-mort as well so she's going to get even bigger uh, biggest tarantula I own and um, pretty much for all of them I'm just going to say what they are because um, I need to do quite quick so yeah um, if you see loads of random segments of video about um of my tarantulas and i know why so yeah i'm just redoing the substrate in some of their enclosures especially this one's a long overdue because it hadn't been done for about nine months and it was getting a bit grubby so yeah um and it needed deep substrate so yeah um back in a sec nandu nandu chromatis um juvie female um so yeah uh, back in a sec. A very rare and elusive Holophily Sanguiniceps. Um, I'll just show you the speed on these. Um, oh. See what I mean? <laughs> Crazy. Okay, um, I'll be back in a sec. This is going to be really hard to get this one back into his tank, but uh, wish me luck. I'm just saying this is an e a bit of an extra. This Holophily Sanguiniceps is so well behaved. It literally ran up out of there. I only tapped it once, it ran up and then ran straight into its hide. Sorted. So, yeah, I'm going to leave him be. I know it's a male. Um, and move on to the next one. Uh, back in a sec. Um, I thought I'd get a video of this before um, it takes about 10 minutes to catch it. Um, this is a hollow. Uh, this is a trophy now. This is a K Brunny Peeps. Um, very fast species. Um, quite rare. Um, only one in the family. Um, well, one in the genus. And very nice tarantula. Just a very good borrower, just um, the only problem is it is quite fast. So I'm gonna have to catch it. Um back in a sec. Good thing about dwarf species is if you give them a little like when they're rehousing them, if you just do a little hole under a hide, they'll run straight into it. Same as my whole fellow sanguiniceps did. Easy peasy. Okay, uh, back in a sec. This is my Lassiodora stratipes, and know for a fact it will not run off. Because one reason it's a Lassiodora, they're skittish, but they're not fast. And two, it's in heavy pre molt so it's not going anywhere. Okay, um, back in a sec. That there is one of the hardest species um, to rehouse. Holophelic Inci. The Inci Gold is the exact same. And it's in there because it's a speed little bugger. If I can get a better view of it, I'll do it. But I don't want to lose this tarantula. So, yeah. Okay. Um, back in a sec. If you see the next clip and it's this, it means I've been able to do a video. But if not, I won't. Okay. Back in a sec. Okay. So I've managed to... Um, get a good thing of it. That's there because if it bolts, it runs straight into it. Um, so this is going to be hard to get into this. Um, so yeah, um, wish me luck, people. Wish me luck. Back in a sec. Very gorgeous species, but it comes with. Um, you need to respect it because it's very fast. Okay, back in a sec. This is the only way I've been able to do it. What I've done is, it's just, uh, um, it's there. So I'm going to wait for it to calm down, because it's absolutely hyper. Literally, it was running up to the top of, um, running up like the side of that. Then I had that below it, so it'd run into that, run a circle back out, then run back up. So it's absolutely hyper. So I'm going to leave it till it calms down, and it'll eventually go into the bottom. Um, and I'll be able to put the lid on. So, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to throw that enclosure because um, it's the only one out at a time, so yeah. Okay, um, 
back in a sec, I'm gonna try and do the inti gold now, so whoop de do fun times. Back in a sec. This inti gold is like ten times faster than the holophilic inti, I swear down. Really scares me, but I need to rehouse it. Um Hmm. Um, if I just drop the camera, it means it's bolted because he's bolt for no reason at all. Well, mine does. Absolutely crazy. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try and do this now. The hollow fella into uh, it's still in the top of that tub, so I haven't sorted that out yet. But yeah, <sighs> wish me luck. Well, didn't make that easy for me, but it was a lot easier than the hollow fella into. So yeah. If you're going to get a Holofelli, you have to treat it with respect because they are very, 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 very fast. Like they're on the speed levels of tappies, that's how fast they are. So, yeah. Anyway, um, back in a sec. I've got a couple more to do, but the only one that's a bit crazy is the t 2, which I'm going to do next. But the ones after that, I just grab a Stolas, so that's not going to be hard at all. Okay, back in a sec. So yeah, this is the T-Octa, he's not in a, um, a skittish mood, he's just in a, he wants to kick hairs at me, so I've just got a handful of hairs pretty much now, I'm just going to put a lid on this, I'm just using this as, as a temp, um, temp thing, because um, I'm not going to put it all in there, do you know what I mean, so I'm just using it to put it in for a second, I wiped it down anyway, it's not going to have bad in it, so yeah, um, that's just a quick look at that. So others, I'm just gonna give it new substrate, and I'm back in a second. Back in a sec. Brahma stole down for a Cena. Um, very nice sling, always out. So I don't really have to show you much of this one, but yeah. Back in a sec. And last but not least, Brahma stole pull cripes. Um, that's it, pretty much. Um, I was just showing tees. Um, getting rehoused because some room you don't want to see too often it's a bit of a better view so yeah that's pretty much it um thanks for watching if you watch this long and see you people bye